Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shell and today I had ordered some stuff off of Ulta and it came in. So we're gonna just talk about those products and I'm gonna try them out and test them over a couple days and see what we think. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that we have is the e.l.f. Illuminating Moisturizer. This has an SPF of 15 in it. I also have the e.l.f. Eye Cream. We also have the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is a full coverage cream with anti-aging hydrating serum and SPF of 50. Then I have these two products from The Ordinary that I'm going to be testing out as well. This is the peeling solution. My cousin actually said she bought this and said she loved it. And this is the Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. And this, Taylor, who's on YouTube, I can't think of what her YouTube name is, but I'll put it in the description box. She said this really helped with her acne scars, which is what I need because I have acne scarring on my cheeks that are pretty severe. So I need to do what I can to bring those down. My acne itself has really calmed down, but I have a lot of scarring I need to work on. So she said that helped her a lot and I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I think it helped me as well. So, and oh, and the last thing, this isn't as exciting, but I needed concealer brushes so I could do my cut crease. So I bought two of them from the e.l.f. line because mine looks a little sad but like it's like a it's a wooden handle and it's like falling apart and the bristles are coming it, it's just time to let it go so i've already put these on my face actually and i just wanted to give it a shot and see how i feel with it so i like the coverage of that cc cream the fact that it's just the cc cream and it was able to cover my scars as well as it did i'm very impressed with i have no concealer on i just have that on and i'm really happy with it the shade's a little bit too dark so i had to mix it with something very lightly so it helped a little bit but i don't think it's too bad i'm gonna have to see it more in daylight to see if it's too dark um, but I'm going to try this again tomorrow. So when I do, I will let you know what I think. And you'll see. I'll actually probably put it on with you guys so you can kind of see the whole thing. Um, I tried the Illuminating Moisturizer from e.l.f. And I liked it. It's a little bit thicker. I will let you know if this breaks me out at all when you see me next. If I have another breakout, you'll know this is probably why. Um, and the eye cream, I really like. This is going to last me a while. I put just a little amount on and I like barely dabbed into this and I felt like I had way too much product. So this is gonna last a very, very long time. Um, and after I wear this foundation for a little while tonight, I'm gonna check in with you guys and let you see it, see how it's looking. And then I'm gonna try the peeling solution tonight. So I'm excited, it's gonna be good stuff and I will see you guys in a little bit. It's time for me to go to bed. <laughs> I have hair up in the crazy messy bun. I have my husband's t-shirt on and I'm ready to go to sleep. So let me just give an update before I go take off this makeup. First of all, wow, so happy so far. Um, this CC cream from It's Cos... I almost want to say It's, but It Cosmetics. Yes. Um, fantastic. The coverage for a CC cream, holy guacamole. <laughs> like, I, you know, I know you can still see a little bit of my scarring, but again, I used like maybe a pump and a half. I didn't really do much else. And that's really good coverage. I don't even feel like I have anything on my face. It doesn't transfer like at all. I've touched my face all night because I just do that and I know you're not supposed to, don't yell at me. But, I, like I don't even feel it it's amazing um you know I know that my oils are starting to come through but I like it like I feel like I look natural and it's really really pretty so overall this I'm on day one uh yes please so I'm gonna use this again tomorrow 
and I will put it on with you guys and we'll keep kind of going from there. But wow, this is fantastic. Also, so far, like this, from what I can tell, it was a good base to put under that. I don't know if I would do that every time because I mean, I almost want to use this for when I use my foundations because it has the SPF in it. So like if I use my Wet n Wild one and this one, I think this could be a really good combo. So I'm gonna try that and see how it goes at some point. But I do like these together, but I don't think I need to do them together. I could use my other moisturizer because this again has the SPF already in it and it's a higher SPF. So, but I do like this so far. I'm hoping it doesn't break me out. Um, the e.l.f. eye cream. Again, I know I've only used this once and, and I'm gonna keep updating you guys, but I really could tell a difference, to be honest, using that compared to the one I'm using right now. Let me see if I can find the one I'm using right now. This is the Murad one. And um, I can tell the difference already. This one isn't nearly as moisturizing as I thought it was going to be, so. Anyways, we'll talk about that later. But what I'm, the point of that was the fact that the e.l.f. one, I barely put my finger in that and it took, it like took care of everything. I instantly felt moisturized. They felt almost, I don't wanna say cooling cause like it didn't really feel cooling, but it kind of felt like that. Like it didn't have any tingles or anything, but it felt really nice like immediately. And I can tell just cause like I'm not creasing under here. I have barely any makeup on and I feel like I look really naturally pretty, which I don't ever really say. So, so far, everything I have, I'm really happy with. So, I'm gonna go take this off. I'm going to try the um, Ordinary Peeling um, Solution. And when I come back tomorrow to keep trying the rest of my stuff, I will update you on how I feel about this. So anyways, I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, bye. Good morning, guys. So I am moisturized. My face has been cleansed. And today we're gonna try out the It Cosmetics CC Cream again. So I'm gonna show you how I put it on because I'm gonna have to mix it with my e.l.f. concealer a little bit because it's a little too dark. My dog is crying in the background. All right, so. So I'm gonna put a pump of this on my hands. And I have a mirror in front of me, so I'm gonna use that as well. Why are you crying? Hmm? Are you not getting any attention? It's very tough living in this home. If you didn't know, you now do. All right, so I'm gonna go in and blend this out. I'm currently petting my dog so he stops crying because he's a big baby. I'm going to take just a little more. And I'll put a little bit on my forehead, a little more on just where my scarring is. And then I'm gonna blend this out. All right. So we have it on, but there's no powder. So I'm gonna take my Morphe translucent powder, like I did yesterday. I'm gonna put this on. And I'm gonna go very light. I'm not doing any eye makeup or anything today. Okay, you guys, so I have one coat on and then I built up just a little bit on my spots. I did a light, light powder. And then I have a liquid highlighter on just to give it a little oomph. 
So I'm really happy with this so far. Um, I first went in and used this flat brush to blend and then I just did a light, quick um, tap out with the sponge. Just, you know, make sure there's no brush strokes or anything like that. And then I went in with my liquid frost. I Like you can't even read it now because it's faded out. But um, this is in the shade Ice Cream Blink. But anyways, it's kind of hard to see. There you go, now you can see it. Um, yeah, so that's what we're working with today. I'm going out to the lake, so the reason I'm really putting this on is one, I wanna see how this does while I'm just kind of running around doing my thing. And I also like that it has the SPF in it so I can keep my skin looking healthy. So I will probably have to reapply because I might go water skiing. So if I do, I will keep you guys posted, but this is what we're working with. So, all right, I'll see you guys in a little while. Hi guys, so unfortunately, I know I said in my last video I was gonna come back and discuss how the It Cosmetic CC Cream wore throughout the day. Um, I never got a chance to do that. Um, I was honestly just having a lot of fun with my family and my friends and I just never really got back to make this video. So, this stuff is amazing. This is probably one of my most favorite purchases I have made in months. It's amazing. That stayed really well throughout the day. I did have to touch up after swimming, but honestly it kind of stayed on for a little while while I was swimming too. Like I felt like I still had a little coverage and it, it's amazing. I'm so happy that I can put that on and I don't have to do a full face because that's what I'm running into now is especially in the summertime and, and wearing these masks and everything. I'm not, I don't want to do a full face every single day. Amazing product, It Cosmetics. You nailed it on this one. Now, next time I just have to get the right shade. <laughs> okay, but anyways, so this morning, um, I'm just gonna be kind of doing stuff around the house and all that. So I wanna try out, I know I said in my last video, I wanted to try this combo and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So let me just go do a little bit of skincare first and then I'll come back to do that. All right, you guys, so I am back now. I have finished my eyes and I have put my toner on. I have done my serum, but I'm waiting to do my moisturizer because I'm gonna do that with you guys. But this is the look I did for my eyes. And I went in with my Modern Renaissance palette. I'm coming so far in this palette, it's really exciting. But I used these bottom three shades, or I'm sorry, four shades. And then I used this dark brown right up here. So, very simple. I do this look a lot, to be honest. It's just something easy to do. Then I'm not really doing anything too crazy today. And then for the primer, I used my eye primer from Morphe. It's the translucent one. Um, and my eyebrows, I just filled in with my e.l.f. Um, Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Neutral Brown. And for the mascara, I just did a really thin coat with this Maybelline mascara that I've used. Um, but it's, it's starting to dry out. I think I'm going to have to get rid of it soon. So, with all that being said, let's get into the face, the real reason you're here. So, first, so I've done all of that. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f moisturizing SPF illuminating moisturizer whatever it's called so we're gonna take a little dab and put that on the face it smells a little bit like sunscreen but not overpowering so that's nice pump for the forehead and my neck. So we got that on, put that away, and I'm going to get the e.l.f. eye cream. And again, I just need a little dab of this. So I'm actually going to take it right off of this because a little goes a long way. 
Oh, this feels so nice. Like, look at that shine under there. That's nice. You can really tell how much more moisturizing this is. All right, so I'm going to let that sit for a minute, and then we'll come back with the face. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and use my green corrector on some of my scarring, because I can. Now we're gonna go in with the Wet n Wild foundation. And today I'm not gonna do any primer, I just kinda of wanna see how that e.l.f. moisturizer does underneath this. So. I really can't get over the smell of this foundation. I'm just not used to this anymore. And uh, yeah, I said in my old video, I'm like, this smells like paint. And it still does. <laughs> and because I don't use this every day, I like kind of don't get used to it. So. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my under eyes with my sh um, Shape Tape Concealer. Okay, so that's with that foundation and a little bit of concealer. So far, I'm actually liking this more. This, I'm sorry, I'm grabbing my mirror because I really want to get a closer look. But this foundation to me is, um, it's very matte from what I'm used to. And so I want to see how this moisturizer does underneath it. And already I can see a difference. I do like it. So I went in with my Tardis Pro Glow palette and I used the shade Sculpt for my bronzing. And then I went in with this shade for my highlight, which is the shade Lit. And then for my blush, I went in with my Juvia's Place blush and I used this shade right here which I didn't think I'd be able to use for my skin, but if you're light-handed with it, it's really a pretty color. So, went in with that. And then I also, just for fun, even though I'm not going anywhere, I went in with this Stila shade in Kitten. My aunt got this for me. Right here. It's really kind of pretty. So I just put a little pop, a little something, something. So, oh, and then you know what? I'm just gonna do a little, I know it's ridiculous, I did a full face, but I'm gonna go in with a little chapstick. By a little, I mean a lot. From First Aid Beauty, trying to use this up. So, and I just went in and did a little spray with my Awapui Mist from Paul Mitchell. What do you guys think, first of all? I really am liking already the combo of the e.l.f. Illuminating Moisturizer and this uh, foundation. It makes me like this even more, to be honest. So, hmm. okay. Anyway, so I'm going to go about my day, and I promise I will come back, and I will discuss overall how I liked everything from this little haul that I got and what I would recommend and not, but... 
I uh, I'm gonna go about my day and kind of see how this wears because right now I like it but who knows it could not be great throughout the day so we'll find out okay be back in a minute all right guys let's talk about all these products real quick and just give an overall review of what i think so far with these products so i've had them for now about a week i've used them throughout the week and i've tried different things with them to see how i like them and let's get into it so the it cosmetic cc cream i am so happy i bought this i'm happy my friend nicole told me about it um i actually saw her use this on her wedding day and that was what made me want to buy it because i loved how it looked on her skin the transfer, none. It, I love that it has the SPF in it. I love that there's still coverage in it, which is fantastic. And I also love that it has a hydrating serum in it as well. So this, I highly recommend to, especially people with acne prone skin. It did not break me out at all. And I liked the coverage of it. I'm actually not wearing it right now, so I don't really know why I'm doing this. Like I'm telling you to look at my face. I just have a little concealer on today. That's it. Um, so anyways, this is fantastic. I highly recommend it. I do wish that I got it in a different shade because this is a little dark for me. But again, I mix it with my e.l.f. concealer and it's fine. So going back to e.l.f., um, e.l.f. has come such a long way, I really think, because, sorry, my dog's behind me. He's making noises. Um, their products are getting, I feel like, better and better and better. And for the price, wow which I'll actually tell you guys right at the end here how much everything was, but this stuff is great. Um, it's a little thicker, you do smell the SBF in it, but I it didn't break me out. I do feel like it helped moisturize my skin. It helped with the dewiness when I was wearing it with this foundation, the Wet n Wild foundation. So I'm really, really happy with this. I will definitely keep using this. The eye cream is also i'm really excited for this so i'm gonna be finishing up an eye cream that i have right now and then going into this one and i'm like so excited for that because i just felt the difference with this immediately so this might be my new go-to eye cream i'm really excited about it and for the price and how big it is okay yes, please. so the ordinary that was the last two things i wanted to talk about so i have not opened up this um what is it the rose hip seed oil i haven't opened this one up yet honestly i still have my oils that i'm using so i'm gonna finish those ones up and then i'm gonna go into this one and this is a product i'm gonna need to use for like like a month before i could give you guys a real honest review on it so i will be updating you on this but not for a little while um however the peeling solution i used that once and i loved it so um thank you to my cousin for telling me about that it was great. I really felt the next morning, my skin felt so soft. I'm really happy with that. So I, so far I recommend that as well, especially if you have sensitive skin, it did not seem to bother my skin at all. I did feel some tingling when it was on, but I think that's normal. And again, I didn't have any like redness or irritation, nothing. So Overall, I'm really happy with everything I bought. I still haven't used my concealer brushes because I haven't been doing a lot of crazy eyeshadow. Um, I'm probably going to be doing some of that this week, but they're concealer brushes. It's not that exciting. So anyways, this haul was overall really nice. Let me just quickly go over the pricing of everything in case any of you are interested. So I got so the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This was $39.50. The peeling solution was $7.20. The um, rose, what I can always forget the name of this, the rose hip seed oil. That one was $9.80. The two brushes were $4 a piece. The e.l.f. illuminating moisturizer was $8. Like $8, are you kidding me? And then the eye cream, all that eye cream that was only ten dollars so i overall spent 83.94 with tax and yada 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 so um the most expensive thing i bought was the cc cream so yeah wow 
very happy with this little haul. I appreciate you guys watching and I hope that it was helpful for you. Please let me know if there's anything you want to see. I really appreciate you guys staying and watching this video. I hope that it was helpful. Let me know if you're going to try any of these products or if you already have tried some of these products and let me know what you thought of them. Um, I do appreciate you guys being here. I hope you have a fantastic night, day, whatever time it is, wherever you are, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, you guys.